Hello everyone, EB the Original Master here, and I'm back with another video game review. Today I'll be taking a look at Wii Play for the Nintendo Wii, released on February 12th, 2007, and the second in the Wii titled game series. Now, I don't know how to specifically call these series of games, but they involve with the word Wii, the name of the console, followed by a word such as sports, play, fit, etc. So this is the second in, in those series of games, and uh, I actually do own this game, and the game is pretty fun at times, but it could get pretty boring if you play through the games more than once. So uh, the games consist of Shooting Range, which is a game where you point the Wii Remote at your TV screen and you shoot targets. Um, it's supposed to be a reference to Duck Hunt, because in that game, you would shoot down ducks, of course, and then you would earn points from that. And uh, in the game shooting range, uh, you'll shoot down targets. Uh, there's also um, other times where you could shoot down uh, ducks that fly on screen. There's even times where you have to shoot down UFOs that, that capture your me characters. And it's actually pretty interesting to see all these different types of ways that uh, the shooting range game has to offer. So that's a uh, shooting range. Uh, the next game on Wii Play is called Find Me, where uh, there, where the game asks you a series of questions based upon me characters that you have to find. Um, examples will be find two me's that look alike, find one me that's doing the opposite thing, or you have to find a certain amount of me's or numbers of me's in order to clear the task. Um, the, the, the levels are endless in the, in the Find Me game, but, um, you will lose, um, the game if you run out of time, so that's basically what the, the Find Me game is, is basically a, the game asking you a series of questions, and you have to answer those questions by basically doing what the game tells you to do, and yeah, so the next game is, uh, Table Tennis, which is awfully similar to Wii Sports Tennis, but not as much fun as Wii Sports Tennis. So you basically uh, hold the Wii Remote and you have to like uh, move it from the side to side to hit a ping pong paddle to hit this ball and you earn points upon uh, hitting the ball to your opponent. So it's basically a game of table tennis or ping pong. Nothing too special, but it, it's all right. So the next game is uh, Pose Me, which is a very interesting game where you have to press the buttons on your Wii Remote to change your Mii's poses, and you have to guide the Mii's to these bubbles with that corresponding pose. Um, the levels get difficult as more bubbles appear on screen, so you have to keep multitasking, and it could be very hectic, and I think this is one of the, the few better modes in uh, Wii Play. So the next game is Laser Hockey, which is basically Pong, but in a... Uh, it's like a laser hockey pong game, and it's basically pong, meaning you got two paddles, you hit these, you hit like a ball, and you have to get it to your net in order to score a point. It's fun, but it gets boring afterwards, so it's not worth replaying. And uh, the next game is uh, Billiards, or Pool, and it's basically a billiards game. So you have a cue ball, you have to hit these billiard balls to these holes, and yes, yeah, it's, it's basically a game of pool. Never played pool before, but it's pretty simple. You simply, uh, I think you hold down the B button. And as you hold down the B button, you have to like move the Wii Remote backwards. Like you're about to serve a pool cue ball or something. Then you release the B button and push the Wii Remote forward to hit the cue ball. And it hits the billiard balls across the pool table and it falls into the holes. Yeah, I know I'm doing a very terrible job explaining how pool works, but like I said earlier, I never played billiards, so I have no experience with it. Now, the next game on Wii Play is Fishing, which has a Paper Mario aesthetic where um, you basically fish out these fishies from a pool of water or a pond, whatever you want to call it, and, you, and you'll basically earn points from from getting a certain amount of fish. And yeah, it's pretty interesting at times, and I do love the visuals in the fishing game. 
Next is Charge, which is a mini game where you're riding on a cow and you have to knock over these scarecrows and you earn points from doing that. And again, it's a very strange mini game and it's weird, but it could be fun at times. And you basically uh, tilt the Wii Remote side to side to move your cow around and you swing the Wii Remote upwards to jump over hurdles. And yeah, that's the Charge mini game. And the game we play is Tanks, which is obviously the best mini game that the game has to offer, where you have to uh, shoot down these different tanks and earn points in order to move on to the next stage. And of course, the stages get harder and harder as you progress through this game. And uh, that's Tanks. And overall, that's We Play. Um, this game is very fun at times, but it's not my favorite of the Wii title game series. I think uh, Wii Sports Resort, which I'll get to that game soon, is the best in the Wii Sports title games I have. And uh, yeah, so We Play, I'll give this game a 7 out of 10. It's okay. It's not nothing. It's not anything too offensive, but... It gets pretty boring after a while, but this game just gets a 7 out of 10, so it's an okay game in my opinion. Well, that's my review on Wii Play for the Wii, and I'll see you guys next time with my next video game on uh, Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, I'll take a look at Wii Sports Resort next, and then I'll take tackle Wii Fit Plus, Wii Music, etc. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.